Hi guys, I hope everyone's having a wonderful night. Um, as those of you who are subscribed to my channel know, I'm trying to spend most of this year doing reviews of small, independent, and or niche um, perfumes and, uh, and their perfume houses and the people behind the perfumes. So, um, in fact, I think since the beginning of the year, that's all I've done reviews of. And that's another one uh, of what I want to do tonight. Um, I want to introduce you to a new house and talk about one of their perfumes. If you're anything like me, you spend <laughs> copious numbers of hours on the internet just looking around for new perfume houses to discover and, and new things to sniff. And a month or two ago, I came, acro uh, came across a house called Leromatica. Um, I got my hands on some of their samples, and I want to talk about this one. It's called um, Rambling Man. There you go. And as you can see, it's from the house of uh, Laromatica Perfumes. Uh, Laromatica was founded in the northern San Francisco Bay Area by its perfumer and, um, I guess, creative director. She's the nose behind all the fragrances there. Her name is Loretto Remsing. Uh, Loretto, if you happen to be watching this, um, wonderful living with your stuff. I haven't tried, well, I haven't lived with anything other than Rambling Man, but I've just tried it in passing. These are, these are things that I really look forward to reviewing, and um, I've just had a blast with them. Um, most of all, the line is uh, an all-natural, botanically-based house. Uh, except for the use of the occasional musk. Of course, no one wants to use real musk for uh, for ethical reasons. Rambling Man has notes of citrus, uh, cumin, ginger, woods, uh, Boletus edulis, which is a common uh, mushroom, and dragon's blood. And an interesting note to uh, sort of an interesting aside, Loretto actually tinctures the dragon's blood herself by hand. So um, she actually uh, is one of the few perfumers that act, uh, that 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 does things from from the raw materials. I know a lot of people that just buy the oils or buy the tinctures themselves, but people like uh, Misha Munyan. Uh, who is at Misha's Natural Perfumes and Loretto do these things from hand and then use the raw materials to create the perfume. I thought that was fascinating. It comes into concentrations, the, uh, the extrait and the eau de toilette. I'm just reviewing the extrait in this review. I have no idea what the eau de toilette smells like. I'm guessing it smells much like this, only perhaps not as strong, but if there are significant differences I wouldn't know about them. It contains only pure essential oils, absolutes, and tinctures. So um, I, I also appreciated that each of Loretto's perfumes is inspired by a story, some aspect of her personal life. For example, Yellow Rose, which is another perfume in her line, was inspired by uh, thinking about a century-old rose bush that she has in her backyard. And Rambling Man, uh, the name, was actually inspired from her brother, who is a big road tripper and has traveled all over the States and Mexico. And the ingredients were also inspired by him. He happens to be a big cook. So, hence the sort of culinary-like uh, notes and accords like cumin, ginger, citrus, etc., mushroom, that are in the notes list. And when I say culinary, don't think gourmand. This is not a sweet, edible, well, it is kind of edible, but it's not sweet. It's not praline candy. It's nothing like that. Culinary just in the sense of, well, you, they, they, you know, you can eat them. Um, obviously, you know, ginger is hopefully not going to be turned into a sweet, mucky mess. And this certainly isn't. Leromatica site classifies Rambling Man as an earthy, sexy, masculine, excuse me, sexy, well it is, unisex, that's what I meant to say, and masculine. 
Um, I couldn't agree more. It is it is masculine, but don't let the word masculine throw you off. I think women could really wear this, especially since there's a, a cleanness and sort of a sleekness about it that will make it attractive to to both men and women. And uh, I think it would smell great on both. It opens up with this really nice citrusy top that has this bracing ginger note. And when I say bracing, don't think unattractive, don't think stringent, don't think bad. It's just sharp. It has this sharpness, this this kind of uh, invigorating ginger at the top. It's very, very refreshing and bright and eye-opening. The citrus and and, uh, and the cool, calming ginger play the major roles, especially the ginger. And the heart and the dry down provide just a touch of dirtiness with the cumin to make it interesting and to not have it be a freshy. And I mean, what better said is there besides cumin to echo the natural smell of, of the body, which plays in with the whole sexiness thing. Considering the warmer weather that's coming up with spring just having begun, it's no longer winter, I think a lot of people are, are going to pull out scents for, uh, for warmer weather, and I think this would be one to consider. As far as longevity goes, the extrait version lasts between five and six hours on my skin, which is a lot more than I'm used to getting with concentrated versions of perfumes. For some reason, the more concentrated it is, the shorter its life on my skin. I don't know why, but I've tried several extrays lately. They give me an hour or two or three. This one is five or six. I'm good with anything beyond four hours. I'm not one of those people that needs something to last for 12 or 16 or 20 hours, four hours, and I'm good. So five or six is just fine. For anyone frustrated by the conspicuous lack of a really bright ginger citrus kind of smell, just a little dirtied up by some cumin, it's not a lot of cumin, I promise. It's not one of those things that smells like B.O. in a bottle. I've smelled those. They're, they're not attractive. This is for you. If you love the smell of ginger, you have to try this. Very, very, very nice stuff. I have to say one extra note about the whole aesthetic of the line. If you look up the line and go to Loretta Wemsing's website, look at the bottles. The bottles are like the perfect incarnation of what the scents themselves are. I think the whole line smells sleek, classical, contemporary American, and the bottles look the same. So I like how the aesthetic is echoed in both the smell and the visual aspects of what's going on at Loretta Matica. I've, like I said, I've tried several of Loretta's fragrances, and they seem to be uniformly sleek, streamlined, and, and feel very contemporary without being avant-garde, which I consider to be an adjective in perfumery to basically mean unwearable. If someone tells me it's avant-garde, I think it's going to smell like secretions magnifique or something. There is an interview online on a site called Daily Candy with Loretto that says her perfumes are rooted in aromatherapy. Uh, Loretto has since told me that that's not exactly the case and that while her initial interest in perfumery was the collection of pure oils and it might be slightly aromatherapy related, she's sort of transitioned to trying to get, well, to getting herself and trying to get her students, she, she teaches classes, to, to create something that is more like a proper perfume that, that really evolves on the skin. And these perfumes so far that I've, I've tried them, certainly Rambling Man, they have a few prominent notes, but they have these, these parts in the background that just sort of make them more interesting. Like the cumin in this, it turns an otherwise, I mean, I love ginger, but citrus and ginger itself could be, eh, you know, it, it's not exactly exciting, but when you add the earthiness of mushroom and the spiciness of cumin to it, 
It just makes something special. Uh, so to be honest with you, I really think they're more sophisticated than the word aromatherapy lets on. And, um, but, but I can, I can, I can sort of see being interested in it to begin with and then sort of evolving and becoming more interested in something more complex as your interest in your, your knowledge base grows. So, um, I really love the aesthetic. Like I was saying, there's something about the whole thing that's simple without being simplistic is, is what I wrote. And I think that really rings true both the sense and, and the, the presentation, the bottles. There are, I want to say, um, there, there are, uh, rollers that the extract comes in and there are 30 mil, 30 M yeah, 30 mil bottles that the, uh, eau de toilettes come in. You can buy them separately or you can buy them as a package deal. I believe that the, <clears throat> the bottles, the 30 mil EDTs are $50. The rollers are 40, but if you buy them together, you save $10 so you can get them, get the package for 80. Um, this is really, really something to consider. Warmer weather coming up. We're, we're looking for something, you know, interesting to wear, but also maybe fresher and, and lighter because of the heat. Certainly something to consider. Rambling Man. Made by Loretta Rimsing at La Romatica Perfumes. Bye, guys.